Hello guys. Welcome to today's edition with the Rap Study of Reality Zero. A daily devotional for teens. God bless you. Today, Thursday, 21st January, Pastor shares with us, you've got to win souls. Three reasons for reconciling others to Christ. To the Bible, Mark chapter 16, verse 15, C-E-V. Then he, Jesus, told them, go and preach the good news to everyone in the world. Let's talk. Pastor, must every believer win souls? Mark as his pastor as a special. Questions and answers service. Yes, we all must. Mark's pastor answered. It is how we testify to our world of the wonderful gifts of righteousness. God has given us. But pastor, what if I don't feel like testifying to my world? Mark Christ on. Mark, no one who receives an awesome gift hides it. You'd want to show it off to your friends. The pastor maintains. When we preach the gospel, we are showing off how our wonderful gift of righteousness and inviting them to partake of it as well. There are three important reasons you must preach the gospels and ring so as a Christian. First is your faith in the Lord Jesus and his glorious gospel. The second reason is your love for him and hope of his soon return. The third reason is his instruction for us to win souls. These three reasons should compel you to win souls. God has determined that souls should be won to his kingdom and he's given us the responsibility to locate the lost in our world and share the gospel with them. Therefore, you must reach the unreached and bring them to Christ. It's your primary and solemn responsibility as a child of God. The Apostle Paul, recognizing this, wrote this. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed us to the message of reconciliation. We are therefore... Christ ambassador, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. NIV, be fully committed to the gospel and its presence around the world. Go deeper. Romans chapter 1, verse 15. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 to 6. Kindly pray this prayer after me. Dear Father, I thank you for making me an able minister of the New Testament. In taking the gospel to the ends of the earth, I fulfill my calling with boldness, faith, courage, and conviction. The light of your glorious gospel shines brightly through me today, bringing men out of darkness into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, Oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. 
I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.